Hi there, welcome back. We're on shelf, gosh, one, two, three, four, five. We're on shelf six, and I think this is the fourth video of this shelf. We're back into the briars, so we're gonna start with this guy here. This is a wood grain poodle, very scarce. Found him in an antique store, I think in Modesto. Only produced for a few years, a very long time ago. This poodle is even more fun. This is a regular white poodle. However, he has what is called the perfume cape. So these perfume bottles um, were, and the capes were made as a special run for Sears and Montgomery Ward and JC Penney's for their holiday catalogs in the 60s. Not a lot of them were made and very few of them still exist. And I'm very happy to report that this guy has both of his perfume bottles. They are original perfume bottles. Found him in an antique store over in Northern California and very excited because the cape is in beautiful condition. There's no um, little moth holes or anything. The little clip is still in, in intact. So that's, that's a really rare and unusual piece. Then we have two boxers. I keep both of them because they, they show the two different styles of collars. So this guy has the choke chain style collar. And then this guy has the leather with the little metal um, points collar. So I like the little extra bits like the capes and the collars. And so I keep these two guys for that reason. Next we have two of the cow and calf sets. This is the Ayrshire cow and calf. This is um, a special run from Briarfest a couple of years ago called Heidi and Edelweiss, 2008. I think it's very fun that they did these guys um, for Briarfest. I love the little cowbell that they have on the mama cow. And what's really interesting and the reason I keep both of these sets is because it shows the difference in horns. The horns are applied after the piece is molded. And so the Heidi and a Heidi, um, an Edelweiss set, the horns are set forward, whereas on the Ayrshire, they are set upright. So that's a fun little added mold detail. This guy is a long horn. I don't think I'll be able to get him out and show you, but he has a big blue ribbon sticker, which is very cool. Let me actually see if I can get it, because there's a couple of different types of blue ribbon stickers. So this is called the big blue ribbon sticker, and it says Briar Creations number 75 Texas Longhorn. So again, I like the stickers and all the little extra added stuff. And then this guy mom bought for me years and years ago at Jamboree. This is the walking um, Hereford and he also has his sticker, also a large sticker, Briar Creations number 71 Hereford Bull. So in the glossy, he is a very dark brown, not very reddish at all, and in very nice condition. Then we have the Spanish Charging Bull. This guy I keep because he has the gray horns. The gray horns are, we call them chalkies. I'm not sure if he would officially be considered a chalky, but um, he is a gray horn version, which is an unusual version. This guy I bought from another collector a long time ago. He is a wood grain Brahmin bull in nice condition. And the reason that I bought him is when I bought him, he had a blue ribbon, or not a blue ribbon, he had a tenite sticker on him. But his tenite sticker was on his belly and it popped off. I found it laying on the shelf one day. So I've taken it and put it in a baggie to, for safekeeping and it is so safe I can't find it. But he does have a tenite sticker running around here somewhere, which is an older sticker than those blue ribbon stickers. This is the deer family and the baby, the mama and the buck deer were made for a lot of years. But this guy is really cool. You don't see a lot of them. He is in chalky. So his color is very vibrant. He has a lot of chalkiness on his tines and his tines are all intact, which is pretty uncommon. And he, you can definitely see his chalkiness down through his legs and his tail tip. He is really cool. So this is a fun set. Someday I'd love to find the mom and the baby in chalky, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. So I have daddy in chalky. These guys are fun. Um, they, they are the same mold. This was a special run from the Briar website. It is the same mold as his brother, but this is, I think, 
I think this is Shire B, and I think this is Shire A, or vice versa. But his head is put on straight, and this guy's head is put on um, sort of tilted off to one side. And so this was one of Breyer's experiments in molding horses differently. I think this was a show special called Tristan, if I remember correctly. And um, the molds are identical except for the position of the head. And then when they changed the position of the head, they also moved his ears. So he has the ears that are set differently than this guy. So that's a fun detail. Oh, and he has a big forelock carved onto him. So I don't know if this is actually a different head than this guy, or if they just have a mold difference, but I keep them so that you can see the difference how Briar handles mold changes across the same mold, but with differences in heads and tails and legs and that kind of thing. This guy is, um, gosh, what's his name? I can't remember his name, which is sad. The mold is Buckshot. This is a Briarfest raffle piece from, I think, 1994. They had a raffle where they, I think it was 20 or 24 raffle horses. Um, I was lucky enough to get my name called. And the best thing about this guy is he stands. They actually changed the mold. So he stands very sturdy, which is cool in the glossy old style charcoal because the original buckshot, which this guy is an original buckshot, does not stand. Um, he very tippy falls over. That's why he's next to the Shire here. And this was part of the artist series. I think he was sculpted by Bill Scriver. It was Breyer's experiment in bringing in new artists. And we've seen a couple of the other pieces in this range, Lady Roxana and Sham and Touch of Class. Wasn't very successful, but um, it was very fun at the time. So I have to keep him, even if he is held up by his friend here, the Shire Mare. The Shire Mare is from my original carpet herd. So she's kind of beat up, but I keep her for sentimental reasons. She was one of my favorites. This is one of the Briar Crystal collection. It is the, I think this is the Zippo Pine Bar mold. And then this is the full size Zippo Pine Bar. This was a special run from um, QVC. QVC used to have um, special runs in their Briar shows. This was called an Artist's Proof Briar Limited Edition by Summer Prosser. I actually really like this mold and I think this is a very good color on him. So, um, I really like him and he came with the commemorative plaque and um, I think they did a very nice job. So that is the end of this shelf. We'll move down to the next shelf down next week. Thank you for joining me and hope you join me next week to see more cool model horses. Thanks.